Hello dear viewers. Welcome to your favorite channel Ogan Babu. Today we are going to talk about anesthesia for tonsillectomy operation. There are some absolute and relative indications for tonsillectomy operation and tonsillectomy is done as a part of other operations as well. Absolute indications are recurrent throat infection, peritonsillar abscess, tonsillitis causing febrile seizures, hypertrophy of tonsil causing airway obstruction, difficulty in deglutition, interference with speech, and suspicion of malignancy. Relative indications will be discussed in another video. The endotracheal tube usually used for tonsillectomy operation is south-facing ray tube. This tube has a band towards the foot as the tube emerges from oral cavity. So, it does not interfere with surgical access. And the band itself helps to prevent kinking by Boyle Davis mouth gag. Sometimes, reinforced endotracheal tube is used to prevent kinking. Still, there is a chance of kinking in an armored endotracheal tube if the Boyle Davis mouth gag is poorly placed. Tube should be fixed after intubation. All the connections should be secured by applying tapes over them. Eye must be protected before draping. Standard monitoring such as pulse oximetry, NIBP, ECG should be employed for the operation. Position during tonsillectomy operation is known as Rose's position, in which patient is supine with head and neck is extended by placing a pillow or sandbag beneath the shoulder. This position facilitates the proper exposure for the surgeon. Copious amount of fluid are not usually required as swallowing is to be encouraged postoperatively. Infiltration of local anesthetic into the tonsillar bed provide good postoperative analgesia. Intravenous paracetamol and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs are used part and postoperative analgesia as well. Anti-secretory drugs are used to reduce oral secretion. Proper suction before extubation is required to prevent post-extubation laryngospasm by secretion or blood. But blind or aggressive suctioning of the pharynx may cause bleeding from the tonsillar bed and should be avoided. Full dose of reversal drugs are usually used to overcome the remaining residual blockade as the procedure of tonsillectomy is short. Extubation can be accomplished either deep or awake depending on the preference and skills of recovery room staff. But the patient should be in head down left lateral position which is known as post tonsillectomy recovery position. History of obstructive sleep apnea and bleeding disorder should be evaluated preoperatively. OSA is usually associated with hypertension. Both hypertension and bleeding disorder increase the chance of bleeding part and postoperatively. If postoperative bleeding occurs after tonsillectomy operation, blood loss is difficult to assess because most of it is swallowed. Resuscitation with intravenous fluid or blood must be guided by cardiovascular parameter appropriate to patient's age and size. Patient will have a full stomach and potentially difficult airway with blood in the pharynx and local edema following recent intubation. So thank you for today. See you in next video. Bye-bye.